So here is my wind generator and I've used uh, discarded DVD discs to put on top of the spokes of the wheel. And down here I have a, a crank sensor out of a General Motors vehicle and there's nuts attached to the rim that I've uh, adhered to there with silicone and uh, it passes by this sensor and it creates a very light voltage and what I've got is I've got a wire connected to it going over to a discarded LED flashlight and you can see that the, uh, the lights are actually flashing there. Now the camera doesn't do it justice, I think from the frames per second it's uh, making it look like they're not flashing all at the same time, but they're actually all flashing at the same time. And uh, it's creating uh, free power just from the wind blowing the, uh, the wheel around. So I've got these uh, discs attached to the spokes just with some bathtub silicone at three spots. And uh, because of the angle that the spokes are on, it allows a perfect angle to, uh, to grab the wind. And uh, here are some uh, 3 8 inch nuts I've put onto the rim. I've just used the same. I've used uh, bathtub silicone to attach them. And uh, that becomes the reluctor for the, uh, for the crank sensor. So as these, each of those nuts pass the crank sensor, I don't know if you can see it in the light there, but it doesn't actually touch the sensor, but it sweeps past it. And as it passes it, it uh, creates a little voltage spike. Because this uh, sensor here has a permanent magnet in it and it has windings in there. And as it passes by, like I say, it creates a little voltage and uh, it shoots it off to the uh, LEDs and it uh, makes them blink. So we'll wait till it gets dark and then I'll, uh, I'll show you how it looks in the light. So you can see that that LED light is really flashing in the dark. So I hope you like this video. If you do, just uh, go down below and hit the like button. Or you can hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my other videos. And uh, that's about it, guys. And we'll see you next time.